Mars is going to be awesome. It's the ambitious sequel to Deliver Us to the Moon. It takes 10 years since the Fortuna mission. There is a secret distress call coming in from Mars and that's where the Zephyr crew will take off finding out what is actually going on there. What is this? Excavators, cranes, it's completely deserted. Deliver Us Mars centers around a team of astronauts that gets tasked to go to Mars to retrieve the technology that could revitalize the dying planet of Earth. Life on Earth is becoming extremely hard, not just for people, but also species are dying out. The atmosphere is becoming worse and worse. We need to find a way to make things better. So the story itself uh, is this grand sweeping and epic drama. We focus a lot on a family and especially a father and daughter relationship to tell this very personal story with this epic backdrop of trying to save a planet. I think we really managed to make this understandable and especially making a lot of hard choices throughout their journey. We wanted to tell a story that is mature in what it's telling the audience. We are not here to tell a story where good and evil is just very simple. It's very difficult to discern what is right and what is wrong. And our characters are gonna have a hard time figuring that one out. And I hope the players will do too. We've been in touch with all sorts of experts in order to ensure that it looks and feels like you're actually there. A real astronauts from uh, agencies like ESA and NASA that could shine a light on how it would feel to be an astronaut. Players can expect a host of new mechanics in the game. They can expect very diverse environments. The Martian dust storms, the blue sunsets, the craters that you can see around the landscape. We try to make it as lifelike as possible. It really goes into the deeper cinematic experience. That is just a step up from Live Us to the Moon in every single way. The gameplay experience changed a bit, but we really wanted to stick to the core of what made Live Us to the Moon Live Us to the Moon. So something I'm really proud of and excited about is the new traversal system. It has got a new character controller and a climbing system, which makes it really cool to go over the surface. And also a new host of puzzle mechanics that actually expand upon an MPT network. And we really made that into a collective puzzle mechanic set. In order to know what it is like to be there, we've looked at all sorts of things. As most fans and people that like the first game and know the studio will know is that we didn't really hold back on developing this new title. And I, I dare to say our launch sequence has been researched very extensively. And I think it's going to be the coolest launch sequence we've seen to date in video games. If this does not make you feel like an astronaut, I, I don't know what will. Maybe actually having to go to space, but that sucks. That takes a while to actually get. We experience sound on Mars in a very different manner. There is emotion, there is silence. It's also a very personal story. And that is taking the story and therefore the music to soaring heights where the stakes are larger than life. You need to save mankind, your humanity's last hope. Combining these two is one of the most inspiring things for any music or audio designer, I think. My granddad made telescopes to have people view the moon. 
and I'm literally trying to get like young people, but people that love games to see Mars through video games. I would like everyone to really look at the coming months because in the coming months there is going to be so much cool stuff we're going to announce and going to finally be able to talk about. We have been waiting so long and worked so long on this game already and I'm almost bursting out of my shell to uh, really put everything in front of you guys.